टॉप टेन लक्जरी कास्ट बाय पार्ट टू This is the part two of this video, and if you haven't watched the part one of this video, I'll recommend you watch that first, which will be linked down in the comment section. If you haven't watched my other previous videos, I'll link those down in the comment section as well. Also, before continuing with the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and a sub would be amazing. Audi A8. The fourth gen A8 debuted as a 2018 model, lighter and filled with even more complicated technology than ever. The initial powertrain offered was a 3-liter TFSI Turbo V6, but a 4-liter TFSI Turbo V8 followed later. And there is also a 6.3-liter W12 for those who want one on special order. The new A8 has a suspension system that uses actuators to individually raise and lower each wheel to keep the car as flat as possible over bumpy roads. and uses a camera that scans the road ahead to basically preset the suspension accordingly Audi claims that the new A8 is the first production car to offer level 3 automated driving at speeds of up to 60 km per hour but only on highways where a physical barrier separates you from cars traveling in the opposite direction Other features include variation of adaptive cruise control lane departure assist and all that Up front Audi has more or less done away with buttons and switches via a 10.1 inch touchscreen display which when off blends almost invisibly into the high gloss black surrounding. The user interface comes to life as soon as the car is opened. There's also a secondary touchscreen display in the center console to control air conditioner functions and make text inputs. Audi is also offering an optional relaxation seat in the A8 long wheel base that adjusts four ways and has a footrest that incorporates both warming and massaging functions for aching soles. Other rear seat features include matrix reading lights, in-seat massage function and a smartphone mimicking remote control. Bentley Continental GT. There's nothing quite like a Bentley. The 2020 Continental GT is arguably the best example of this. And the model line is the brand's savior. Two engines are available. A 4-liter twin turbocharged V8 with 542 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque, and a 6-liter twin turbo W12 with 626 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Both feature all-wheel drive and both come with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic. Along with all-wheel drive and 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, the W12 is capable of accelerating from a standing start to 60 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. A highly impressive feat considering the weight of this thing. This doesn't mean the V8 model is slow, however. It gets the same all-wheel drive system and automatic transmission, but under the hood is a 4-liter twin turbocharged V8 with 542 horsepower, which allows it to get from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, with top speed arriving at 198 miles per hour. The massive arch is containing wheels ranging in size from 20 to 22 inch in diameter, while the rear is where you'll find quad exit exhaust steps on the V8 and dual exit ovals to the W12. As standard, every version of the Continental comes with LED matrix adaptive headlights and heated power adjustable front seats. You also get dual zone climate control, remote keyless entry, rain sensing wipers, a park assist system with parking sensors, soft close doors, cruise control, a power trunk and a rear view camera. If you are willing to splurge, heated and ventilated massaging seats are available as is a heated steering wheel. You can also get adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning and automated emergency braking, traffic sign recognition, ambient lighting, lane keep assist, a night vision camera, a heads up display, a surround view camera, wireless charging, a rear cross traffic alert, a hands free trunk and on the W12 a panoramic glass roof. The infotainment in the Continental is managed through a 12.3 inch horizontal touchscreen display. The system sends output to a 10 speaker sound system and features Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, satellite radio, navigation and HD radio. Options include a rotating display, digital TV, Bang & Olufsen 16 speaker system and even a 9 18 speaker sound system, but Android Auto is not offered. Rolls-Royce Phantom. An all new Rolls-Royce Phantom 8 came out in 2018. It is the 8th and current generation of the Rolls-Royce Phantom and the second launched by Rolls-Royce under BMW ownership. 
The chassis, engine and most of its mechanicals are all manufactured in Germany, but final assembly occurs in the United Kingdom. Each car is custom built according to individual tastes, but are all powered by BMW derived 6.75 liter V12 mated to a new 8-speed automatic gearbox and a rear wheel drive platform. Standard features include a forest's worth of wood, a ranch's worth of leather, larger than life 22 inch alloy wheels, high tech air suspension and the most advanced run flat tire system yet. The rear cabin can be outfitted to have a large sofa style bench or two individual seats accessed via rear hinged doors. Legroom is immense and the floor is nearly flat for easy ingress and egress. The infotainment system is similar to BMW's iDrive system with the rotary dial. Safety features include the usual BMW fare with multiple airbags and electronic nannies. A long wheelbase version is also available. Range Rover The Range Rover got a complete new redesign for 2013 and is now longer and wider than the previous model. From 2018, it gets the 3 liter V6 turbocharged engine with two different tunes and supercharged 5 liter V8 engine with two different tunes as well, mated to an 8 speed automatic. In 2016, the long wheelbase version made its depart as well as a new Range Rover SV autobiography joined the lineup. In 2018, it received minor exterior changes, some power upgrades as well as new interior features. The exterior still has some of the Range Rover's signature touches such as the clamshell bonnet, side fender vent graphics and the floating roof. It comes in three models which includes two variations of the HC, three variations of the Vogue and the top spec autobiography. The basic options include leather seats, automatic xenon headlights, front and rear parking sensors with visual display, fog lamps, LED rear lamps, daytime running lights, 20 inch alloy wheels, 4 zone automatic climate control, front central console cooler compartment, navigation system, 8 inch screen and bluetooth. Options include heated wood and leather steering wheel, rear center console cooler compartment, touchscreen with dual view technology, 21 inch or 22 inch alloy wheels and rear seat entertainment system. Mercedes-Benz S-Class The Mercedes-Benz S-Class has been dominating the luxury segment for a very long time. The rivals have come closer than ever, but still there is something about this car that keeps it ahead in the luxury segment. For 2018, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class gets a mid-cycle refresh with ever so subtle design changes and some major changes under the hood. While the most significant design changes end with a redesigned front fascia and daytime running lights, the new S-Class boasts new trims and engine choices along with a hybrid model even. Inside the traditional instrument cluster from the previous generation is gone and is replaced by two high-res 8-3 format color displays, 12.3 12 inch in size for controlling comfort settings and infotainment purposes. Seats are fitted with 14 actuated air bladders in the backrest with 6 different massage programs. For safety, the S-Class gets belt bags which are airbags in the seat belt webbing and cushion bags which prevent the occupants from sliding under the belt. A new climate control called Thermotronic features improved filtering of outside air and also an active perfuming system for the customizing the smell of the interior. The new S-Class gets optional magic body control which uses cameras to scan the road in advance and adjust the suspension accordingly. Safety features include active parking assistant, active lane keeping assist, night view assist plus, distronic plus with steering assist, brake assist plus with cross traffic assist and pre-safe brake with pedestrian recognition. In short, you want a feature, most probably you will get it in the S-Class. This list is not in any particular order and it all depends on your budget and interest. If you stuck around till the end, thanks a lot, it means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a whole lot more videos like this in the future. So leave a thumbs up and a sub would be amazing. Also leave your thoughts down in the comment section. My name is Jitin and I'll catch you in the next one.